as we scour the show floor here on Into Tomorrow to bring you more of the unique things we're seeing here in Las Vegas this week. Our 24th year broadcasting from here, we find more cool stuff. And we put two of our staff members, we've got Julio and Andrew, on this very cool virtual reality ride, I guess we could call it, from DOF Robotics. Bakit is with us. Bakit, welcome into tomorrow. How are you? Thank you very much. I'm good, thank you. How about you? I'm doing fine. Is this a ride? Is that a, an appropriate uh, way to call what you're doing here, virtual reality? Exactly. This is a ride. DF Robotics manufacture fastest and extreme motion platforms for amusement industry. We work for many years and now we started to work with big parks, big companies for this. And actually this ride, we call it Hurricane, Hurricane 360 VR. But of course you can use it with dumb screen, flat screen, curve screens, and you can install it in shopping malls, in parks, in FECs, in everywhere. So I would imagine, and if money was no object for people, they could even install it in their home if it's big enough, but the, your, uh, your target audience would be those shopping malls or, or gaming arcades, things of that nature. And those watching the video, I don't have to describe what's happening. They're going nuts already and having a good time. I see nothing but smiles. They must be having fun. But if you're listening on the radio, don't worry. When you get a chance, intotomorrow.com and check out the video. And Chris is editing in and out of what they're seeing and how we are looking at them. And, <laughs> and they're about to go upside down. And I've, if this is what drew attention was we heard people screaming uh, pleasure and, and excitement and maybe fear too. So you really give them a great VR experience. Yes, exactly. What we're trying to do to give addictive effect to give adrenaline and to make people happy, to, to enjoy them as maximum as possible. I'm loving this. I mean, listen to this in the background even. They are obviously on, on a, they've just gone upside down again. Yeah. Is it, so how would you describe what they are seeing at this point? Now we have um, a kind of a right uh, wall of China, but of course we have many uh, different kind of contents. Uh, we can show here real movies, real shooting movies. Also, we can show the uh, games. And uh, this ride also can be interactive. People can play. Really? Wow. So th there's apparently a, a, an endless amount of cool things you could be doing uh, with exactly. virtual reality. And this, uh, this is a, a big mechanism with hydraulics, obviously computer controlled. Actually, it's electromechanical. Electromechanical, okay. This is, this is the technology what we have to use if you want to achieve good synchronization and high uh, quality of motion, you should to use electromechanical. That's pretty amazing. And you travel with this, obviously, at various trade shows to show people what's happening. Is this thing available now for malls and, and ar game arcades to be able to purchase and, and entertain more people? Uh, we already have uh, six locations in the U.S. and it's uh, increasing day by day. So we're opening several units in Los Angeles as well. And soon we will open in many cities of across the country. Well, our headquarters is in Miami, so when you mentioned hurricane is what you call this, <laughs> that, that's appropriate. And let us know when you've got some in South Florida and we'll have to visit and, uh, and, and see what the guys are doing. And now, let's see, do they still have any blood on their faces? Are they, <laughs> are they flush? How was it, guys? Let me know. It, it, tell me your, your experience. Dave, it was amazing. <laughs> it was surreal. It was surreal. Andrew, uh, the, the, could you tell when you were going upside down more than just watching what was happening? You f you're really immersed in this. Yeah, you definitely feel going upside down. I love it. Well, you have something very cool, Bar Barkeith, and, uh, and we want our audience to visit your site. And the website would be dof.com.tr, which is for Turkey, but, uh, and of course locations there and in Los Angeles. So. Los Angeles, yes. We have a marketing office in Los Angeles, a technical support in Los Angeles. So we're serving here for all of our customers in USA. So look for the DOF Robotics Hurricane at a gaming place near you or a mall hopefully soon. Yes, thank you. Uh, we will. We will. And we are shifting now to many other industries like uh, Defense Ministry uh, to create some interesting solutions for them. I was going to say this would be awesome for training yes, for defense. Now, yes, now we are uh, working on F-16 simulation unit where we can give up to 7 or 8 G-Force. Holy cow. Okay, and well, I'll avoid that one. Yeah. <laughs> and it will be a network game, so two units can make dogfight. Unbelievable. What is the price of this at this point? 
This now cost 180 uh, k. 180 thousand dollars. Okay. Yes, exactly. Uh, and uh, if you compare with many other rides, it's uh, quite a good price. Oh yeah, I, I can already tell that uh, Andrew and Julio are going to save up for one, uh, so that between them they'll have one in the house at some point. Thank you again for joining us here at CES, and uh, good luck to you. Uh, it's our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. We're back with more from Las Vegas. I'm Dave Graveline. Again, if you've got any questions, comments, concerns about anything that you hear on the radio broadcasts or see on these videos at intotomorrow.com, let us know anytime, day or night, 24-7, 800-899-INTO, 800-899-4686. Meantime, we'll bring you further into tomorrow. I'm Dave Graveline here on the Advanced Media Network. Don't go away.